27. Ishak and Tabari. Abu Jandal, Sulayl's son, escaped and joined Abu Basir. Nearly 70 Muslim men gathered around and they harassed the Quraysh. Whenever they heard of a Meccan caravan setting out for Syria, they intercepted it and killed everyone they could get a hold of. They tore every caravan to pieces and took the goods. The Quraysh therefore sent to the Prophet, imploring him for the sake of Allah and the bond of kinship to send word to them. 28. Tabari According to Wakiti, in this month the messenger sent out for Ukasha with 40 men to raid Gamar. He traveled quickly, but the enemy became aware and fled. He sent out scouts and they captured a spy who guided them to some of their cattle. They took 200 head back to Medina. 29. Tabari in this year, according to Wakiti, the messenger dispatched the raiding party of Abu Ubaida with 40 men. They traveled through the night on foot and reached Qasa just before dawn. They raided the inhabitants, who escaped them by fleeing to the mountains. They took cattle, old clothes, and a man. 30. Tabari In this year, a raiding party led by Zayed went to Jamum. He captured a Muyeza woman named Halima. She guided them to an encampment of the Banu Salaim where they captured cattle, sheep, and prisoners. Among the captives was Halima's husband. When Zayad brought back what he had taken, the Prophet granted the woman her husband and their freedom. 31. Tabari In this year, a raiding party by Zayad went to al Is. During it, Abu Ab's property was taken. 32. Tabari a 15-man raiding party led by Zayad went to Tafar against the Banu Thalaba. The B Bedouins fled, fearing that Allah's messenger had sent out against them. Zayad took 20 camels and from their herds. He was away four nights. 33. Tabari In this year, a raiding party led by Abd al-Rahman bin Af went to Dumat. The messenger said to him, If they obey you, marry the king's daughter. 34. Tabari in this year, a raiding party led by Ali went to Fadak with a hundred men against a clan of the Banu Sa'd. This was because the Prophet had received information that a force of theirs intended to aid the Jews of Kaibar. Ali traveled towards them by night and lay in wait during the day. He captured a spy who confessed to them that he had been sent to Kaibar to offer the people aid on condition that they would give them the date harvest of Kaibar. 35. Tabari a raiding party led by Zayad sent out against Um in the supposedly holy month of Ramadan. During it, Um suffered a cruel death. Zayad tied her legs with rope and then tied her between two camels until they split her in two. She was a very old woman. 36. Tabari The messenger appointed Abu Bakr as our commander, and we raided some of the Banu Fazra. When we came near the watering place, Bakr ordered us to rest. After we prayed the dawn prayer, Bakr ordered us to launch the raid against them. We went down to the watering hole, and there we killed some people. I saw women and children among them, who had almost outstripped us, so I sent an arrow between them and the mountain. When they saw the arrow, they stopped, and I led them back to Abu Bakr. Among them was a woman of the Banu Fazra. She was wearing a worn-out piece of leather. With her was her daughter, amongst the fairest of the Arabs. Abu Bakr gave me her daughter as booty. 37. Tabari In this year, a raiding party led by Kurs sent out against the members of the Banu Urena with 20 horsemen. 38. Tabari and Ishak After his return from Hudabaya, Allah's messenger marched against Kaibar. He halted with his army in a valley between the people of Kaibar and the Goftan tribe to prevent the latter from assisting the Jews. Ishak When the apostle raided a people, he waited until morning and then he attacked. We came to Kaibar by night. When morning came and he did not hear the call to prayer, he rode and we rode with him. We met the workers of Kaibar coming out in the morning with their spades and baskets. When they saw the prophets and our army, they cried, Muhammad with his force. They turned tail and fled. The apostle yelled, Allahu Akbar, Kaibar is destroyed. For whenever we arrive at a people's square, it is a bad morning for them. 39. Tabari the next morning, Allah opened the township of Saab bin Mudaha for them to conquer. There was no stronghold in Kaibar more abounding in food. After the Prophet had defeated some of their settlements and taken their property, they reached the communities of Watib and Sulalim, where the last of the Kaibar neighborhoods was to be conquered. Muhammad besieged the inhabitants between 13 and 19 nights. 40. Tabari and Ishak 
Allah's apostle besieged the final Jewish community of Kaibar until they could no longer hold out. Finally, when they were certain that they would perish, they asked Muhammad to banish them and spare their lives, which he did. The Prophet took possession of all their property. 41. Tabari and Ishak and Bukhari Having finished with Kaibar, the Apostle went to Wadi Kuda and besieged its people for a while. 42. Tabari Allah's Apostle sent Umar with 30 men against the rear of Hawazin. They traveled by night and hid by day. However, word reached Hawazin and they fled. 43. Tabari According to Wakiri, a 30-man raiding party led by a Bahir went to Banu Mura. His companions were killed and he was carried away wounded with the dead. They returned to Medina. 44. The messenger sent Abdallah al-Kalbi to the land of the Mura. During the raid, Ushma and one of the Ansar killed Murdas. When they overcame him, Ushma said, I testify that there is no God but Allah, but we killed him anyway. 45. Tabari. The raiding party led by Ghalib went to Abdalaba. One of the messenger's slaves said, Prophet, I know where the Abd can be taken by surprise. So Muhammad sent him with Ghalib and 130 men. They raided Abd and drove off camels and sheep, bringing them back to Medina. 46. A raiding party led by Bahir went to Yum. What prompted this raiding party was that Husayl had been the guide of Muhammad at Kaibar, and he came before the Prophet. He claimed that a Gathan had been summoned to march against him. The Muslims went out and captured camels and sheep. A slave belonging to Uyana met them, and they killed him. He encountered Uyanya's army, which retreated. 47. Tabari and Ishak When the apostle returned from Kaibar, he sent out raiding parties and expeditions before he made the Hajj. When the Meccans heard of it, they got out of the Muslims' way. Gathering at the door of the assembly house to look at them, they said, Muhammad and his companions are in poverty and misery. They are covetous and miserly. 48. Tabari and this year, the Messenger of Allah commanded Ghalib Abdallah to go on a raid to Khalid against the Mulawa, a confederate of the Banu Bakr. 49. Tabari And this year, a 24-man raiding party led by Shuja went to the Banu Amir. He launched a raid on them and he took camels and sheep. The shares of booty came to 15 camels for each man. 50. Tabari Also, a raid led by Amar went to Dat. He set out with 15 men. He encountered a large force whom he summoned to Islam. They refused to respond, so he killed them all. 51. Tabari The Prophet sent Amar to Salasil with 300 men. 52. Tabari During the expedition, they suffered such severe dearth and distress that they divided up the dates by number. For three months, they ate leaves from trees.